the inside panel, we've cleaned that up, ready to go. Don't be too fussy guys, there's a little bit of sticky stuff left over. That sticky stuff is just gonna stick to our sticky stuff and adhere, it's not gonna be an issue. So don't stress if you're not 100% perfect. So don't be a perfectionist, as some would say. The next step is actually do a template of the inside paneling because you're gonna cut this out on the bench as well. It's easier, easier than doing lots of little pieces. We can actually do a big piece. It's important to do a template because on the inside of this door trim, there's actually membranes or there's actually intrusion bars, metal bars that sit inside the doors and they go from top to bottom or they can be different on every single part. So we find the easiest way to create a template is to use cardboard. Secondary to cardboard, you can use bubble wrap or any plastic sheeting that you have and you can sort of stick it inside the door and trace around the shape. Now, let me pull this box apart because I'm going to show you generically what we do as a store. There's obviously different methods to do this but this is pretty easy. Plus I think it's readily available to everybody. So, here we go. We're gonna get one about the length of the door. So, let's cut this in half. All right, it's gonna give us out the length, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the bottom section. I can see there's a bar here going up on an angle, and it is a straight bar. So what I'm gonna do is cut this down to be a bit more manageable. Okay, and there, we're gonna do this bottom section. Now, from here I find it very easy to use rulers and measurements as a guide to how big your template's gonna be. Because you can always subtract and add to your template at any stage, because it's just cardboard. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure how wide it's gonna be from probably its widest point. Okay, so I'm gonna go from here, because the bar sits just below here, out to the it's going to be 830. All right. So we're just about the right size. It's probably a little bit too long. I'm going to cut 30 centimeters off the side, or 30 mil off this side. Very easy. Now, what I'm going to do from here, I'm actually going to measure from the base to the top of the intrusion bar because I know that's the physical area that I can stick the paneling on. So I'm going to go okay. Well, it's going to be about 300 millimeters in metric terms. Okay, you guys in the US can use whatever you use over there, material, imperial, <laughs> inches, feet, whatever you call this. So it's going to be about 300. We're going to measure the height of the smallest panel over here. So it's about 10. Okay, 100, 10 centimeters, 100 millimeters. And that's going to give us our base. And what we can do, we can actually measure that up and draw a line. It's going to be 300 here to the top. So come in and you can see this. It's going to mark it from the base. And I work from the base up because I use the straight edge. So we use the bottom straight edge because this is straight. And curve the edges, that's not going to be an issue. But I've measured from top to bottom on either side. So here, top to bottom top to bottom and I've given it that and what you can do is just connect that line it's going to be fairly simple to do so I don't have an exact ruler here so we're going to be pretty close because like I said template we're going to shove it in the door and we're going to actually see how it's going to sit in just a moment all right so that will give us the shape of our intrusion bar and what we can do is we actually can curve this bottom edge again if you're very fussy about the edges use the sound skins lid to do your curves depending on how much of a curve that you're going to need it's not going to matter so much in the corner because even if you miss a fraction on the corner it's going to give you just that little bit that's not covered it's not going to really affect your sound obviously the better you go the depends on how much of a perfectionist you are and that's going to give us our edging all right so can you see that shape taking form like you can actually see, this is gonna sit in that bar along the bottom, up to the top there and around. And that is gonna be our template for the inside paneling. So we're gonna head and cut that out and then we're gonna try and fit it in the door. That's as simple as that. 
cut that up for you guys. Check that out. So that, I'm gonna give you an idea. Sit there like this. Now I don't throw away the top part because I'm gonna actually use that to do my template for the top part. Because the cool thing is, the angle that you've created is the same angle as the bottom part. So if you've done your angle right, that is gonna form the basis of your top template. So I can just sit that in there. And whilst I might need to extend that a little bit up, or I've got a cut out here for the door latch, I've got a basis to work with straight off the bat, which is not gonna to be too bad. It's gonna save you a lot of time. The next step is actually to put this in the vehicle. It can be a little bit tricky. It's not gonna matter. It's actually gonna be easier with the sound skin because you can actually flex it a lot more. I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna check it out. All right, now, come in, let's have a look at this. So as you can see here, because we've cut a lot of that out and there's a lot of depth in the bottom, it is actually the right angle. So if you check out along there, it's the right angle with the bar. So let us try, I might just grab, let me grab this and I'll try and show you a little bit better. So as you can see here, there's the intrusion bar up the top there. So this is the intrusion bar up there. And if we lift this up, you can see it's the right angle to sit under the bar. So you can see the bar just there. Sorry, it's a bit hard. There it is there. Showing it's the right angle, sitting right along the bar, and the bottom is straight. Now, you've got all that gap underneath the bottom, so that tells me it's the right shape, but we need to extend it by another 15 or so millimeters. So this is a cool way to do your templating because it allows you to trial fit before you go and waste that sound skin's material being the expensive part of it. And the angle's okay, so uh, looks like I just need to add another 15 or so, you know, 10 centimeters to the bottom there. So I'm gonna add that on. And it's simple enough, just cut another piece of cardboard, stick it to there using tape or whatever you've got. And you're gonna get that size template as well. So while we're at it, we could also do the top. So you can actually stick the top part in. Again, the same way, always oh, coming through the bottom. Probably easy coming through the bottom. It's getting a little tricky because there is normally a window regulator in here. You've actually pulled it out. Show you the demo, and there's the top piece. Again, that looks pretty good. So it's got the same angle. So as long as you sort of get that in, in, inside intrusion bar correct, you're gonna have a good basis to formulate the inside paneling. And the idea is cover as much as possible. And you wanna be able to still get to it with your hands or a roller and push that on because it gives it that real good adhesion. So from here, guys, we're going to cut out the inside templates. We're actually gonna move this up, the extra bit of space, just to save a bit of time. We're actually not going to make a secondary cardboard template because we are pretty rehearsed at this these days and we should be able to get it right. What we can do is use our texture as a bit of a guideline. We're going to give us the shape on either side. And then we're just going to extend it up there for 10 millimeters. So, sorry, 10 centimeters, 100 millimeters. That's going to give us our line. So then we have our bottom shape, and then along with our top shape, and in this top corner. We're actually gonna measure out our space that we're gonna need for our door lock that is in the car here. So in the door lock, you can see the handle is actually located in this section. So we can go, all right, well, we need about 20 centimeters or whatever the distance is in. So we've got about 23 centimeters in. We're gonna have our shape for our handle. So we'll come in 23 centimeters. We'll mark that. And then we'll get an estimate of the shape that we're gonna need come down about another 100 mil. Then we can draw our shape. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly cut that out and then we're gonna show you layering inside the door panel and putting the outer skin on, so the inner and outer skin. Okay guys, so there you have it. There is our cutout template. So that's gonna be the bottom part of the inside panel and that is going to be the top part of the inside panel. So we're gonna go ahead and peel this back of the sheet off. You should be able to get that predominantly in one hit. And we're gonna lay
wear that up inside the door. So it is quite sticky, so you're just going to have to be careful as you layer it in. If you had trouble getting this into two pieces, you could cut it in half, and that would make it a little bit easier to get in. But I reckon we're going to be able to do this quite neatly. As it is. Fill it off. Lay a bit too high then. And we're on. So we're just going to run our hands inside that and press it against the back of the panelling. Make sure it's all flat and there's no bubbles. And if you have a roller at this stage, you should probably use a roller. But the goal of using a roller is just to make sure you don't have any bubbles. So just to make sure it's extremely flat. When you put it in, that way it's never going to peel off. Because the back of those door panels will get quite hot or cold, depending on the region of your country. So you want to make sure it is nice and adhered. So like I said here, this is quite a big sheet, so if you had troubles getting this inside, you could actually cut it in half and put it in in two separate pieces. We're going to try and put it in one piece here. I'm just going to fold it up on itself. And, a bit of luck, you should be able to get it in quite neatly. the window rails here so it's a little tighter. And there we have it, nice and layered as well. So once that's completed, you're gonna push it down as best you can so it's just gonna sit. And that is really gonna add the weight to the extra side or the outside paneling of your door trim to give it that extra acoustic sound, basically like an inside of a speaker box. But it's a little bit hard to see inside the panels there, but as you can see, nice and neat. There is a bit of a gap around the switch where I cut it. If you wanted to be more precise, you could do that, but it's so far away from the speaker, that's generally not gonna reverb anyway. So long as you've got predominantly most of the area covered, you should be okay. So